Okay, so my ingredients are here. I'm gonna need one cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of water. I have my mixing bowl. I have my flour, <laughs> my measuring cup, my salt, and my water. I said coffee, but it's water. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna get my measuring cup. This is a half a cup. So I'm gonna need one whole cup of flour. So I'm gonna need two of these to make one. Here we go. Here's one half cup. And one more to make one full cup. Two. That. Up next, I need half a cup of salt. Perfect. There we go. And then lastly, I need half a cup of water. I forgot to get a mixing spoon, so I'm going to use my hands. <laughs> you get in there and you mix it really well. It's going to feel soft and squishy. Kind of feels like Play-Doh, but it smells way better to me. It smells like bread. So you mix it, it's gonna get all over your fingers if you're using your fingers like me. But if you're using a spoon, like I told you, that'd be very much easier. <laughs> okay, so you get it going, you stir as much as you can, try not to make a mess, go slow. And then once you have it all combined and it looks kind of like Play-Doh, you can pick it up. I'm still mixing mine because it's still a little dry. Awesome, Fred, you're doing so good out there. Okay, mine is ready. So it comes out looking like a Play-Doh ball. Nice, and it's very soft. You can squish it around. It feels good between your fingers. What you're gonna do next is make a ball like so. Put it on your clean table. And then you're going to get a rolling pin if you have it. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a flat cup. And you're going to roll it out. Gets a little sticky. You don't want to make it too thin, okay, my friends? Actually, I'm going to take half of it. I'll put it over here because I'm going to do something else with this half later. Okay. So I forgot my cookie cutters at home. So I am going to use a bowl instead today. As my cookie cutter. Where's the bowl go? <laughs> There's my bowl. Okay, so you get your bowl. You make an uh, impression on it like a cookie cutter. Make sure you feel the table underneath. Lift the other piece away. And there you have it, a little ornament. So I am going to get a tool of some sort to make a hole in it so I can put a string in it later. Because after this dries, it's gonna be super hard and you're not gonna be able to break it. So see the little hole I put in mine? That's so I can put a string through it later after it dries. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to use this other piece to make something else. So I'm going to make something for my mom for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. She really likes hearts. So I'm going to use this, make it into a ball, and I'm going to try to make a heart the best I can. You can think of things your mom likes and you can make that shape if you can. Even if you try your hardest, she will love it. She'll know you put your hard work into it. And she'll say, oh, my baby made that for me. You can give it to your mom. You can give it to anybody who's like a mom figure. So I have a grandma who's like a mom figure to me. I see her very often. So I'm also going to make her a heart because she has my heart. So one for mom and one for grandma. So here is my 
part that I made, see, it's not too thick. You don't want them too thick or they won't dry properly. There's one heart. Oopsie, I dropped my heart. <laughs> Actually, you know what I should make for grandma? I should make her a bow tie because she says I look so handsome in bow ties. Alrighty, folks, there's my little bow tie. I'm gonna let this dry. So what you're gonna do is it's a very warm day today. You can put them outside in the sun where they get full sunlight. They'll get nice and hot and they will bake in the sun. You wanna try to leave it for maybe two days if you can, or you can bake them in the oven for one hour at 300 degrees and they'll be perfectly done and solid. Did you guys have fun doing the art project? I had a lot of fun. You made some cute things. Make sure you put them in a safe place in the sun for them to dry and they will be nice and ready to paint on story time for Friday. I can't wait to see all the things you make and you do. I will see you guys on Friday where we can do painting and decorating them, okay? So bring your art projects to story time on Friday. We'll decorate them together and paint them and make them real pretty for mom or grandma or anybody who is a mom figure to you. You can give it to your dad if you like. Alrighty, friends. It was great hanging out today. I'll see you on Friday. Bye, everybody. Bye. Check YouTube Bye. if you want to watch more details about this okay. art project. Bye. 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 Bye.